Kanawha County Board of Education held a meeting tonight with new improvements to be made this year. News Channel 3's Addie Smith went to the meeting and has more info. The Kanawha County School District will see some new advancements this year. The board passed the motion for new software for student data that is accessible to students, faculty, and families, along with new Apple TVs in schools. A new bus tracker app is live and will help parents and families see when their student arrives at school and when they are on their way home. The app will also notify families of any bus route updates or changes made in the bus schedule. In 2022, the excess levy was voted on and passed. The executive director of facilities planning, Andrew Crawford, says funding is starting to finally accumulate and projects can now begin. And unfortunately, we couldn't really start on anything until the funds start coming in. So, um, yes, uh, it's been a lot of hypothetical planning, but nothing um, really that we could move on. Improvements will take place in a span of five years. In year one, roofing improvements will begin at Elk Center, West Side Middle, St. Albans High, and Sissonville High. More roofing and HVAC improvements will be made throughout the next five years. Along with roofing improvements, athletic facilities will also see upgrades. As far as the turf projects go, uh, the board approved that tonight, and we'll be starting on that in the fall at uh, Capitol High School and Herbert Hoover High School. Tennis court improvements and track resurfacing for schools in Kanawha County are planned in the upcoming years. Addie Smith, WSAZ, News Channel 3, Kanawha County. Safety and security improvements and the addition of 12 new security team members beginning this year and will continue over the next five years.